Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen the first in first out page replacement algorithm. So here we will go with the another session on FIFO that is the Binidis anomaly problem. So first of all let us uh, explain what is this Binidis anomaly. So in the previous example we have taken the same reference string and we have applied the FIFO replacement algorithm, page replacement algorithm. So we have taken the frames is 3 so that we got the page faults as 6. Now if we increase the frames, that means if the main memory contains more frames, so automatically the page faults should be decreased. right? So in this FIFO, this may not happen for all the reference strings. So for some reference strings, even though you increase the frames, the number of frames, the page faults may also be increased. So such type of phenomena is called Billedi's anomaly problem. Right? So let us uh, check with the reference strings. So this is the reference strings we have solved in the previous session. So with the three frames, so that we got the six page faults. Right? So once go through the video of uh, FIFO and then you will get a uh, clarification. So I will uh, post the link of the FIFO page replacement algorithm in the description. So you go through so that you can understand. Now here we will solve this with the number of frames 4. So that we should get the less number of page faults. That means we have to get less than 6 page faults because we are increasing the number of frames. Right? See. So frames uh, F1 F2, F3, and F4. See. Right. So you can observe first the first one. So page 1 is occupying the frame 1. So it is a page fault because 1 is not available in the main memory. So we will call it as a page fault. Second reference, the page 3 should be inserted and that page is not available here. So again there is a page fault and again I am including this one. Coming to the third one, 1, 3 and again 2 is not available. Again there is a page fault, 2. Coming to the fourth one, So 1, 3, 2, 4 is not available. So 4 is placed in the 4th frame. Again, page 4. Now, see, you can observe here. Now, 4 frames are filled. 4 frames are filled. So here, 2. Next one is 2. 2 is already available. So, hit. There is no page 4. Okay. So no page replacement should be done here. Next, 3. So coming to the 3, 3 is already available in the main memory. So there is no page fault. Again there is a hit. Coming to the next one, see 1, 1 is already available. So again there is no page replacement. Again it is a hit. Again next 4, 4 is available. Again hit. 2, 2 is available. So there is no page fault. So it is a hit. Okay. Again, four. So four is also available, no page fault. Again, hit. Next, one. So one is also available, it is a hit. Three. And again, three is also available here. So again, hit. So after completing all the reference strain, uh, reference strain, you can observe there are only four page faults. So we have applied the same reference string using the FIFO algorithm with the three frames. We got a six page faults, and this is also a FIFO. So we just followed the FIFO. Okay, we just followed the FIFO, but 
here we got only four page files so reduced so if you increase number of frames automatically the page faults will be reduced but here in this i mean this is a problem we will get in fifo that is it may not reduce the page faults with the increase of frames so in some reference strings even though we are in, we are increasing the frames the page faults may also be increased so let us see the such type of example so that so your doubts will be clarified right right so so in this case in the previous session we have solved with the same reference string but the page faults have been decreased because increase of frames see now we will go with the next one okay so we'll take one more reference string and we'll apply the fifo with a uh, less number of frames and we will increase the frames and we will observe how much we we'll get okay see okay first we'll observe with the three three frames okay so the reference string Right. Let it be this. This is the reference string. So we'll get first. We'll see with the three. Okay. Now we'll observe here. See. So one is placed here. It's a page file because one is not available. And coming to the second one, so two, two is also not available. Again, it's a page file. So one and two, and then three. Again, it's a page file. So one, two, three. Again, no four. Four is also not available in the string. I mean, in the memory. So we have to replace. Again, it's a page file. We have to replace. Which one we have to replace? The first in first out. So first page we are allocating in the frame that should be removed. So here one is the first page among these three. So we are replacing one with four. Next, see. Again. One. So one is not available here. So again, we have to apply the FIFO for replacing the page. So among these three, two is the first string. So four, one, three. It's again page one. See again two. Two. Two is also not available. Again, it's a page one. So which should be replaced among these three is the first. So four, one, and two. Again, you can observe. Again, it is a page file because five is not available. We have to replace. So among these three, four is the first one. So four will be replaced with five. So then again, apply here one. One is already available. So it is a heap, not a page file. So nothing should be replaced because one is already in main memory. Next two, two is also available in the main memory. So it is not a page file. It is a heap and no. Uh, now we we need not uh, replace any page. So again, next three. So three is not available. So we have to replace a page. So again, it is a page file. Which page we have to replace? So five, one, two. Among these three, one is the first one. So five, three, and two. Next four. Four is not available in here. So again, it is a page file. Among five, three, two. So two is the first one. So two is replaced with, and again last one that is a five which is already available. So we need not go for the replacement. So it is a heap. So after completion of this reference string, we can count the page faults one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine. So there are nine page faults for frames is equal to three, three frames. So if you go with the frames four. See, if you observe here, if you observe here, the same thing we are applying with frames four. So, according to our uh, assumption, 
if you increase the number of frames automatically the page fault should be decreased so let us check so first one take the first one so again it is a page fault because it is not available one come into the second string second one two two is not available so again it's a page fault we have to load it in the main memory and the third one third one third is also not available again it's a page fault see fourth one four is also not available again it's a page fault one one is already there so it is a hit so we need not change the page two two is also not available in the memory so it is again hit five so five is not available we have to replace one with five it's a page fault one one is not available here so we have to replace this one two because among all these three two is the next one so two two will be replaced with the required page one so five one three four again the next one is 2 two. two is not available so among this one three is the uh, first first one so two is replaced with the three sorry the page three is swapped out and two will be swapping in so again this is a page fonts okay next three three is not available so among 5 1 2 4 4 is the first one so we have to replace the 4 with required the 3 that is a page fault again coming to the 4 4 is not available so among 5 1 2 3 so which one comes first fifth one so 4 1 2 3 so it is a page fault and again 5 is not available here it is also a page fault okay so which we have to replace so 4 starts here one starts here two starts here and three starts here so one is the first one so we have to replace one with page 5 4 2 and 3 right so this is how we can solve with the four frames now if you count this page faults see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so the page faults are 10 so even though you increase the number of frames there is a no chance of i mean there might be a chance of increasing the page faults okay right so in some cases not in all cases in some reference strings this will happen and this phenomena is called billedis anomaly right so hope you understood so increasing the number of frames may not decrease the page faults particularly in fifo fifo replacement algorithm page replacement algorithm right so hope you understood this uh, billedis anomaly so hope you understood this one so let us stop here and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, session so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to def uh, clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session or like my session share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much